Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, as was explained this morning by Dr. Uh, Swalem, this is the first dialogue session of the four sessions that will be uh, conducted or held consequently. So this session is on water scarcity, the situation of water scarce regions, and let me, before I start with our introducing our panel, uh, panelists, let me just summarize some of the key elements that have been raised this morning by the different speakers. In our region, uh, there is 60% of our population and 70% of the economic activities are in water scarce region or areas in our region. Globally, 2.5 billion people live in water scarce regions and water scarcity threatens to displace 700 million people by 2030. Very alarming figures. Water is an enabler to achieving the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Through strong linkages to food security, economic development, poverty alleviation, so it is really an enabler for achieving the agenda as a whole. And without achieving the water SDGs, the other goals are under risk. There is a focus on the principle of the right-based approach to ensure access to all. There is the water and sanitation rights to all within the human rights uh, uh, agenda. So we can see that water scarcity is really a key challenge to achieving the sustainable development. We have today with us distinguished panelists, excellencies that have come to share their insights, to share with us their experience, and translate the discussion maybe into, as Dr. Suwailim explained, key messages that we can next year have on the table that reflect the priorities of this region. We have with us, I'm honored to be able to moderate this session and having Dr. Uh, Jamal Din Jaballah, uh, and we are also honored to have His Excellency, His Excellency uh, Engineer Mohammed uh, Al-Najjar, the Minister of Water and Irrigation in Jordan. We are also honored to have Dr. Abdul Aziz Shaybani, Deputy Minister of Water in Saudi Arabia. We had in this in the in the uh, agenda of this session also the Director General of Islamic Organization for Food Security, but he had, unfortunately, to leave uh, due to the delay of, of this session. He's not able to, to be with us. And we also have Dr. Nasruddin Ubaid. He is the Director General of the Arab Center for the Studies of Arid Zones and Dry Lands. And finally, we have, we have Ms. Katerina Alberkirki. She is the executive, Chief Executive Officer of sanitation and water for all. And she will be joining us with a, a recorded message uh, through video. So let me maybe start by the first question to our first uh, panelist, Dr. Jamal Din Jaballah, who is the Under Secretary General, Director of the Department of Environment, Housing and Water Resources in the Economic Sector of the League of Arab States. Dr. Jamal Jaballah, I will maybe switch to, to Arab, uh, the Arabi in, in asking the questions. Dr. Jamal Jaballah, the Jama al Arabiya assessed or anshat the Majlis al Wazari al Arabi al Miyah from the Hawali 13 Am to the Am. How do they manage the work of the Majlis in what is related to the Miyah and the goals of من تخفيف العبء العبء على التنميه المستدامه بسبب شحه المياه وندره المياه. تفضل. آه. 